Hi everyone and welcome to another drawing video, this time featuring Baby Groot and Rocket Raccoon. Um, it's been a long time coming, I've, I've recently rewatched uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and I just suddenly realised that I hadn't worked on a drawing like this before, which is mad. It's such a great film, it's hilarious and if you haven't seen it then I really recommend you do. Um, the characters are awesome and there's so many to choose from, like I could have chosen uh, to draw Star-Lord, uh, Gamora or Drax or like Groot, um, so maybe I'll work on some more in the future and if you would like to see that then let me know. In terms of the materials that I used, for the outline I used a Pentel pocket brush pen, uh, it's so good for this kind of line work, you can really create thick and thin lines and it creates a more dynamic uh, drawing in the end instead of just all being uniform lines you can create some really cool details with just the outlines it's teaching me a lot about keeping a steady hand because with the pencil I never usually have to but with this like all the lines are permanent so it's uh... you've got to make sure every line counts <laughs> so that's what I started off with and then for the colouring I used Copic markers again I absolutely love using these and I can't wait to keep using them because they're so much fun uh, so I started off adding just like a sand colour base uh, to the to Baby Groot and I built up the layers with uh, darker browns and greys and then added the highlights with the greens and little tips of uh, blue on his head and it's, I think it worked out really well. Um, I topped off some of the colouring with Prismacolor pencils and they're really useful for this kind of stuff where you can you can add uh, white highlights with the white pencil and stuff like that, it works really well. Um, and then for Rocket Raccoon, I started off adding really light grey, um, just to sort of get an idea of where the shading is going to be. And then I started just putting on layers of darker greys. And then over the top of that, I started adding Prismacolor pencils, just uh, white and black, so you could add layers and uh, created a really cool um, fur effect for Rocket which was I, I imagine was going to be a lot more difficult than it actually was once I started using the materials. I also used a uh, Copic marker for the background it's just a colour called uh, Milky White and it kind of added just a little bit of uh, like a warm tone to the background and it brought, uh, brought the characters out to the front and uh, I like how that turned out. And then for the highlights in the eyes I used a Uniball Signo Broad pigment ink white pen uh, it works really well for this kind of stuff, these highlights, and I think highlights in the eyes really brings out the character and uh, eyes are a really prominent feature on the face. Obviously I'm still learning how to use these materials and each video is just kind of showing my learning process with them. Uh, so please let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any suggestions or uh, any feedback it's really appreciated. We have lots to look forward to over the next few years from Marvel and there's going to be so many different opportunities to work on different character fan art so if you ever have any suggestions then please let me know. As always any likes, shares, favourites, that kind of support is greatly appreciated and it means a lot to me and if you want to contact me I have all my social links uh, like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram in the description box below and you can also leave a comment below and I'll be sure to check it out. Obviously any suggestions are greatly appreciated, they, it means a lot that you want to see me work on this kind of stuff and I'd like to be able to try and work on the stuff that you want to see me work on. So yeah, be, feel free to leave as many suggestions that you, as you want and I'll be sure to read them. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.